hello, good afternoon everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, I miss you all lots. It was very strange being in school today without you all there. Um, but I hope you've been enjoying this lovely weather as much as I have today and getting outside um, where you can um, safely, of course. Um, I hope you're keeping yourselves entertained and busy at home with uh, looking at the website with the things that we've put on there for you. And your sixes, don't forget to be helping your younger brothers and sisters with their work where you can. Um, at, to be as helpful as you can possibly around the house with your parents as well. Um, we were set a challenge today from Miss Clark as teachers to upload a video onto our YouTube account um, modelling and explaining something um, to help you at home. So I've chosen my favourite topic which is uh, fractions in maths. Now I know you're growing up behind your screens but let's try our best to get through this together. So I'm going to try and explain to you how to find 5 sixths uh, times 1200 which is simply 5 sixths of 1200. So the first thing I'm going to do when I'm trying to solve a problem like this is I'm going to draw a bar model because it help me helps me picture uh, what I'm trying to do. So I've got my whole 1,200. The first thing I'm going to do is find out what one of those sixths is worth and I'm going to divide 1,200 into six equal pieces. So I'm going to do 1,200 divided by six. And if I know my six times tables and the relationship between six and 12, I know that it's just 100 times bigger, so it's going to be 200. So each of these six are now worth 200. So I found one sixth, one sixth is 200. So now what I need to do is find five six and work out what five of those six would be worth. One, two, three, four, so I'm going to need to find out what five lots of 200 is. And again, if I know my relationships of numbers, I know I just need to do two times five, which is 10, and make it 100 times bigger, which is 1,000. There it is. And there I have my answer. I've worked out what five sixths of 1,200 is. The answer would be 1,000. I found what one sixth was, and then I multiplied it by five to work out the five sixths. So, there we have it. I hope this helps on my teeny tiny whiteboard and you tried to follow along with me. I look forward to hearing from you all soon. Stay in touch, keep well, keep safe, and um, I hope to see you soon. Bye.